Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed my previous lecture and now in this lecture I am going to teach you HTML5 semantic elements. So what is the HTML5 semantic elements? Before discuss the semantic elements, I want to tell you something. Here this is the CNN website and here you see that this is a header. In this header, the programmer develop a navigation bar to go on the other pages and this is a sidebar and this is a content area where all the content is placed this is a content area and here this is a footer the footer contain the information about uh, the social links and it, it also contain the menu a uh, second menu in the page and now I want to tell you something almost every website is developed uh, by using the div you have already know why we are using the div the div is used to manage the content the div contains the other HTML elements and we can adjust the content in our web page but now HTML5 introduce some HTML5 elements the, some special HTML5 elements that, are, that we are able to use to manage the content for example we are able to use the header element for making the header and we are able to use the sidebar element that is used to make the sidebar and the section element for the block of the content and we are able to use the footer element for the footer so now here I'm going to show you how to write the header we are able to write the header like this and in between these two tags we are able to give the content but here I'm not going to show you the real example of the header because we need to apply the CSS. I will do this work in the next section. And the other element is the footer. The footer is for creating the footer that is the lost content in any web page. Here is the footer and the next thing is the section. The section is used for placing any block of content. Here is the section. And now I will show you the section. Here you can see that this is a section. It contain the content. This is another section. It contain the content. And the other thing is the sidebar for creating the sidebar the element name is a side a side and for creating a navigation bar we have another element that is the nav for navigation bar what is the navigation bar the navigation bar is this all this logo and this search field and all these things are in the header and header have the navigation bar here and the next next thing is the main what is the main the main contain the unique content in a document it cannot contain any content that exists in another page for example uh, all of this web page all the content in this web page is placed inside the main or we can also say that main contain the all content it contain the unique content it contain the full web page and the next thing is the article the article contain the independent content it contain the content that is read by the user independently you have already seen the articles in many websites and the next thing is the figure so what is the figure in the figure tag you can add the image and their description so now here I'm gonna add the image in the figure tag here we need to write the figure and here we need to write the closing tag figure and then in between this we need to write image img 
source and here is the subfolder and then a.jpg the image is placed in the subfolder here you can see that this is the image a and its extension dot jpg so now reload the page here is the image and you can also add its detail here what we need to do fig caption here is the fig caption and here we can say that this code is from SKSI or whatever this thing is so here is the code and here is the text and the next thing is the detail so what is the detail the detail tag is used to give the detail of anything here what we need to do just write the detail tag and here is the detail tag and first of all what we need to do we need to write the summary here is the summary open tag first of all we write the summary any text in it and then after this we need to write the paragraphs of the details and then the next thing is the time tag if we want to give the time in any paragraph then we have to use this tag it will specify the time in a special format here we can write the time so this is the way how we handle the html5 semantic elements so see you in the next section that is about the css if you have any problems so kindly add the discussion in the course i will help you as much as i can